Recall that the future value is the value an asset will be worth in the future in terms of future dollars. There are three ways to solve for future value. Using time value of money tables, using a financial calculator, or using Excel, which is really the most common way. This video will show you how to calculate future value using Excel. The formula is equals FV, open parentheses, rate, which is the interest rate, N period, which is the number of periods, minus payment, which is a regular reoccurring amount. And it's possible that this could be zero, because not every scenario has a regular reoccurring amount. And finally, minus PV, which is the present value, or the amount of investment today. When solving for future value in Excel, present value or payment is always a negative amount. So let's look at a couple different scenarios and I'll show you how to solve them in Excel. For example, a deposit of $10,000 will grow to what amount under the following conditions? Let's look at five years at 8% interest and five years at 6% interest compounded quarterly. So using the future value formula, I enter equals FV, open parentheses, 8% comma 5 comma 0, because there's no regular payment, and minus 10,000, close parentheses. And this returns a future value of 14,693.28 cents. Before we do the next scenario, I want to explain quarterly compounding. When we have quarterly compounding, we need the, uh, to quarter the annual interest rate. So the rate isn't 6%, it's 6% 6 divided by 4. And we need to quadruple the number of periods. So the periods aren't 5, they are 5 times 4. So let's see this in action. I enter equals FV, open parentheses, 6% divided by 4, then 5 times 4, 0, because there still isn't a payment, and minus 10,000 for the present value. This returns a future value of 13,468.55. So let's look at two more scenarios where we'll have a payment. The first is calculate the future value when deposits of $100 per month for 20 years at 5% interest are made. Since these deposits are monthly, we need to divide the interest rate by 12 and multiply the number of periods by 12. The next is calculate the future value when a one-time deposit of 5,000 is made today, which is the present value, and $1,000 each year uh, for the next 20 years are made, which are payments. We'll assume 8% interest for this one. I enter equals FV, open parentheses, 5% divided by 12, comma, 20 times 12, comma, minus 100 for the payment, comma, and zero for present value, since there was no initial one-time amount. This results in a future value of $41,103.37. For this last one, I enter equals FV, open parentheses, 8%, comma, 20, comma, minus 1,000, because it's a payment, and minus 5,000. This returns a result of $69,066.75. And that's how you use Excel to solve for future value.